What's up guys, it's Carter here, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me. So right, I'm actually gonna do a huge shout out to a fellow Poketuber, Frank Proud. He actually showed me a set, or rather on his channel, he showed a set that was with the sticker web combination with Kingler being choice banded. And I had, well, I was sitting around that, uh, he inspired me to, well, create a team that could benefit well from it and still be somewhat original. So, well, his is more offensively with a defensive core, mine is more built in the same way, but a little more defensive with the, my camera being assault vested actually, instead of specs. And, well, it works well. And I'm going against a mono team. Uh, Zero is a challenger from Gamefax, I actually looked for people to battle. Uh, he was saying he had a mono team, he didn't want to say what kind of team, but he didn't mind whatever tier that I brought. Uh, I should have said the same thing about him. I should have said that. I really should. So the only like Oryu Poke got is Yelizen. And other than that, there are like the usual suspect and a few OU. And one Uber. And you can get probably guess which one that is. Besides that though, I mean, this was actually kind of a fun battle. And I really had a good time. Because I could play the way I wanted to. And he still put up a really good challenge. And so my team was definitely... Like pressured here to the breaking point. So anyway, like, let's get to it. I had no idea what it will actually start off with, so I just decided to go with my Leveny, obviously getting the stick wave up, because that is actually the only thing I need to care about. And he's starting with the Sableye, I mean, I was thinking, will we probably? Um, it is annoying because that will break my Sash, plus this is a physical sweeper, and it's not gonna work properly at all now. So I actually decided to switch out, so I do expect him to go for, you know, attacking move. So I'm going to make Snappy, because, let's face it, it has the necessary moves to uh, deal with uh, Sableye, because it's after four times effective fairy move. And, well, he missed up a Will-O-Wisp, and that's really unfortunate. I am still in range for a 2-hit KO after Will-O-Wisp, but he'll actually decide to, you know, rather get the Will-O-Wisp than try to recover. Uh, and I myself just went for an earthquake in case I decided to switch out into AG Slash instead. So anyway, the taunt we're off. And I don't really see the reason to stay in here in case he decides to go for Elite Seed or something like that. So I go into my Celery, just pretty much sack it because I have, like I said, there pretty much no means for it. I could heal it with my Gramble, but it actually is very lackluster this battle because it is Ghost types I'm coming up against and most of my attacks are resisted. So I kind of felt that, yeah, just just get it get it out of here, really. So anyway, I'm going to my Murno here, and Murno can do Eruption. Uh, I'm just going to like try to scare him. I did not expect that um, um, <laughs> they protect it, obviously. So yeah, here's Jellicent, and well, well, this is one bulky Jellicent. So I'm obviously in the wrong here, and should definitely get out. I did not expect this thing to pack a <laughs> water spout. So I'm somewhat glad it's not in full range HP, so instead of 150 base power, this is around 100. Still does a lot, actually. And, well, he's not gonna stay in for <laughs> a Thunderbolt from this range. Uh, and I actually thought that I might actually be able to pressure him here a little. So I'm just gonna go for an attack, getting Polarization, which isn't gonna matter too much, luckily. So I'm just gonna bring in my Snappy, my Gramble, getting the Intimidate off. Very important to get the Intimidate off. Really, really works well here. And he's gonna go for Sacred Sword. I do expect him to maybe go for Sacred Sword or Shadow Sneak here. So I'm actually just gonna switch out myself here. Pretty sure, like I said there, that if he attacks, uh, I still would be in a good position. He actually decided to go for King Shield. And, you know, he's getting either of his full paralyzed, he gets like the shield form, and he's knockoff obliterated. Mmm, dude, that hurts. That's a choice of banded knockoff from a Kingler. And this Revenant is not faster after that stick web, so... Mmm, get out of here. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So I was on the roll here, and it's nothing that can stop me, really. So he's bringing in the Chandler, and well, uh, after that speed drop, it is 20 points below me, so... This thing was scarfed, and that really sucked, like a lot, because Taffy, my poor, poor Kingler is not going to take this, and I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble, what the hell? Taffy, no! 
Yeah, it's not a step up on games. So I'm just gonna go into Plexus here. Uh, you don't get any Shadow Sneak off. No one I can do around 50% because Shadow is not that bulky. And Flame Body. Damn you! So, yeah, even though Energy Ball won't do anything like it, <laughs> worth bragging about, I am still Flame Bodied. And consider that Shadow Sneak is my only stab move to actually do super effective damage against, well, his remaining Pokemon, that is. I knew I couldn't really stay around, and I'm going for a Thunder Wave here. Somewhat lucky that he switched out, I just wanted to shut down the Chandler really. Uh, to get, to switch in my Gramble, to get the Heal Bell, to get away the burn, because Cactuan can't be burned, obviously. So yeah, um, obviously I have to switch out there, I see no reason to actually stay around. And like I said, going to my Snappy, <sighs> I didn't think about the Water Spout. I mean, I just went out of my mind that it did so much damage. I have no like real reason to have Snappy around anymore because he can't deal with any of the remaining pokes. So I just, like I said, I just wanted to get that heal bell off. So yeah, and I mean, Gramble works real well in Stick Web team because you get, it, is, it isn't that slow, but it's definitely slow enough to not threat pokes. But in stick web environment, it actually, you know, can be very, very efficient. So anyway, I'm going for Thunderbolt here, and uh, well, that's Water Spot will not hurt, and I will be able to, or if he will stay in here, so I will be able to finish that Gillis and out. So yeah, awesome. So anyway, you're gonna think this might be a weird switch here, but it's gonna bring in the Chandler. I did expect to go for a Shadow Ball. And I saw no reason to uh, sack off my Magneton, even though he can't take any damage. So I just, I just want to try to troll him, I know I can take an energy ball anyway. So yeah. So at this point I was thinking he might want to switch out to his Gengar and not second it off like that, because well, let's face it, uh, it is obviously locked, considered scarfed. Uh, but I actually decided to just <laughs> let it, that poor Shadowlord stay in here. And well, I get the Shattered Sneak off once again, and this will be able to take it out without a doubt. Now it isn't burdened more. I fought, damn it! You're kidding me! <laughs> I was so unlucky. Like, really? This is what it comes down to? So, yeah, at this point, I was actually thinking for a few seconds that I could go for Thunder Wave, right? Uh, I totally, like, it went out of my mind that I am not. Um, <laughs> I'm not a normal type anymore, that is super effective damage, it's gonna take me right away. And, god damn it. So anyway, I wouldn't do much when uh, I obviously be in <laughs> burned there anyway. So anyway, my camera will wall that really well. Now we'll take this opportunity since he got an, it hasn't levitated anymore to actually finish it off with Earth Power. So I don't get why it's an Uber, really. All you need is a uh, Assault Vested Camera off and you can deal with this. No problem at all. Get away, Gengar. Nobody likes you. So anyway, that is the game. Thank you for this game, Zero. Uh, really appreciate it. Did not expect to have... Uh, so yeah. It was actually quite some time ago I went against Omega Gengar. <laughs> it was really threatening, and I was really surprised seeing this one coming. Uh, other than that, that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, as always. And, yeah, uh, what did you thought about this scene? I mean, I'm really glad that Frank Road <laughs> posted this battle where he showed um, on Showdown how it work. Uh, so make sure to check this one out. He is really, really good, and I do encourage you. He's doing some like weird stuff, and sometimes it pays off. And this set really, really like opened it up for Kingler like a lot, and it was really, really impressive. Sadly, Shadow took him short, but you know what? I don't mind. <laughs> so, anyway, guys. Uh, next battle is up on Friday, so see you then, stay tuned to that, and have a nice day, alright? Bye!